<laughs> ah, yes. We have at last made it to Chapter 4 of Octopath Traveler with everyone's stories. But first, before that, we've got a little bit of traveling banter. Welcome back, everybody, to a brand new exciting episode of Octopath Traveler, or of the queue here. And today, we're going to be starting up Chapter 4 of someone's story. Uh... Professor, that monster... You speak of Headmaster Evil. Yes, he he seemed just like a normal person, and then... Some monsters are created in laboratories, so it is certainly possible to transform a man into one. There will always be people prepared to use knowledge for vile ends. I never thought knowledge to be so... frightening. Yes, but remember that while it can serve evil, it also... It also... It is also the weapon we need to defeat that same evil. Wow, could not speak there. You mean, it all depends on who uses it? Precisely. That is why, you see, the pursuit of knowledge demands virtue and integrity. Knowledge nobly won can be shared for the benefit of all men. I warned that if it had been you who'd found that knowledge, you would have known how to use it for good. Such glowing praise! You flatter me, dear lady. Ah, uh, his conversations with Ophelia are always great. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find out who we want to go to. It looks like Primrose is the closest one, so we're gonna be heading to Primrose's story next. Therefore, we can actually swap out Ophelia for Primrose. And... Uh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we doing here? What? No, what? Huh? What just happened? I was trying to switch in Primrose, and I was switching Cyrus and Ophelia around. That was confusing me. And then... <laughs> okay, back onto the main topic here. And then... Let's actually figure out who's the next story. Primrose, and then we've got Hanit next. So I'm going to switch Hanit with... Mmm, perhaps Olberic? Yeah, that sounds about right. So we've got two powerful team members on our team. Who will be able to carry the rest of the team, hopefully. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but hopefully it will. We're going to definitely heal up. We got Cyrus, who's a few levels higher than the requirement level, thankfully. But it's still going to be a difficult journey, nonetheless. But we're going to be heading there right away, over to Everhold. A place we have never been to before, so we're going to actually have to walk there. Come on, everybody, let's go on a journey to Everhold. Uh, hello? So, uh, I came across this place on my way to... The next story to the Everland place, but this place is called the King of the Tome or the Tome of the Kings rather. There seems to be some sort of an interesting fellow here, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk to him, oh, see what dear. this is about. What business do you have here? You'd best scraper before my tipper sours. Okay, Mister Nameless Grave Keeper, but all right. I mean, I was about to leave anyway, but then I came across this. Don't know who you are, nor where you came from, but I'll be asking you to leave. Alright, we can provoke him, but we could also purchase things from him, too. Eh, eh, nah. Maybe not. Chance of success, 90%. So we got this. An elderly man who tends the cemetery all by himself. Perhaps he is the one who ensures that there are always fresh orange flowers by a certain large tome. Okay. Well, I don't... Oh, there's a chest over here, isn't there? Oh, no, there's not. I can't even get it over there. But yeah, I don't know what this is. This is rather curious. Maybe there's some sort of importance with this place later down on the road. Alright, let's continue on our trail then. West Everhold Pass with a danger level of 75. Yup. Okay, this is how you can tell you're at the end game. Whoa, this place is pretty. An immediate chest right here. 
We're gonna grab that light soul stone and continue forward to our destination, which I think this might be it right here. Huh. Well, that was actually easy and quick to reach. Or so I thought until oh, what? Is that a Whoa, this music is cool. I am ready. Oh, that's how you know you're at the end game. Alright. So that's a um wyvern, I would assume. It looks like a wyvern. Blinding mist. Yes, great. Let's blind Tressa, thanks. It's a good thing Hana is immune to blindness now. So is that a wyvern? It's a winged serpent. Which essentially is a wyvern. Okay. We've got all these different techniques we can use, but I don't know what is what. So we'll see what's good. I don't know if it's good on the winged serpent yet. They're, everyone's already blinded. I'll just go trade Tempest. They're all weak to wind. One of them's weak to fire, so may as well use the firestorm here. Nicely done. Everyone's blind for a thousand years now. Not really a point to it now. It should be weak enough to, that I can take them out in like a turn or two. So we'll do this. Oh man, I do love this music. Just listen to that music roaring. No good. Oh, that music is so good. I really do enjoy it. Here we go. Uh, let's use our level slash on these guys, see if it does anything to the big guy. Ooh, the guys in the back are done, but the Winged Serpent is still going. That's incredible. We get a second chance to do some damage, so I think I'm gonna summon a Wind Beast. Or... Oh, that's 18%, never mind that. Wind Slash from a Frostwing Serpent? Oh. They're actually the same creature. That's pretty interesting. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and make use some of the Heal Wounds ability. I just love that music, it's so beautiful. This thing's gotta be low. Oh yeah, it's low. Apparently that's not gonna do it though. This thing actually is pretty powerful. It's weak to arrows. Second serving, it's nice. Finish it please. Nope. That's okay. We've got our Nido to finish it off. bring your shade. There we go. The show is over. Some level ups too. Cyrus is so close to his level up. I'm loving it. Oh, I thought we were all right there. We're not even close. Wait, there's a shrine? What? I mean, there's a temple right beneath me, which I know that there's gotta be other temples, but there's a shrine? Question mark? I'm gonna check out the shrine actually real quick. What the heck is this thing? <laughs> what? I am ready. Ah, oh, that's a big old cat thingy dangy. Uh It's a Kate! Oh my gosh! That's a Kate! I gotta hit it hard with magic. bring your shade. Only one damage. I kind of figured it would only do one. That thing looks beefy as hell. It's probably going to run, though, unfortunately. Yeah, it ran. Oh, now I know that there's another Kate out there. If I ever come across it again, I'll make sure to take it on. Hopefully, I'll have the speed to do it. Those things always run, and it's not fair. It really is not. Not only are they rare to come across, but they just run no matter what you do. I wouldn't mind catching one, too, if I could. Probably could. I'm probably gonna just fight these guys with some arrows. Yeah, may as well. Wait. 
I thought Hanek couldn't be blinded. I thought I put a blind, uh, defensive blind thing against these things, but I guess I'll just use Lende to fight. And then use some wind against these guys. Eh, not that much wind yet. Now we'll blow these guys away. I attempted to go to that shrine. I thought it was in the direction that I went, but it was not, unfortunately. So I don't know where the shrine is. I suppose I could check it out after this episode. Since I have no clue how to even reach it. I mean, I actually defend, just in case. But we've pretty much made it all the way to the city. I just need to get past these guys here. So we're going to use a quick blizzard to finish these guys up. Or maybe not. Wow. Very highly defensive. Oh no, it was Cyrus who was the one that was blinded, not Hana. It looked like it was Hana. So we'll use an arrow of storm. Hopefully this will finish these guys. No, it did not. I'm glad I defended with Primrose. I'm very glad I defended with Primrose. These guys are mighty. Did not expect. Oh, I can't even boost either, so this is going to be a weak ash freaking luminescence, and let's get it in. It's only 80 damage, yep. I kind of figured it would be like that. But hopefully a firestorm should finish these guys off. There we go. Anyway, we're here, at last, at, to, at our target destination, at long last, finally. We're here. I think, yep, Everhold. Whoa, this is some ominous music. That's right, I had business here. You've come to Everhold in pursuit of Simeon, who revealed himself as the ringleader of the crows. Here, you soon find that the stage has already been set. Sounds pretty ominous. The story so far. In her hometown of Noble Court, Primrose brought down the second of her sworn foes. There, she was also reunited with her childhood friend, Simi. He approached her tenderly, yet what he bore was the gift of pain. Simeon's scarf unraveled, grasping Primrose's fingers as she fell, laying bare the mark of a foul crow on his neck. The friend she cherished so dearly was the last of her foes, the man who had brought death to her father and ruin to her family. What motives could the man have for his vile deeds? Primrose could not begin to imagine, but it mattered little, for her ultimate goal was clear. All would come to an end in Everhold. So this is the stage of the s of the final act. Wow, look at all the crows here. I fear it won't be a happy ending for you, Simeon. Oh, treasure chest. Let me grab that. A rare stone. Nice. Ooh, traveling banter. As always, let's check it out. We here? Well, this is quite the mystery. What is, Professor? I'm puzzled as to why there is a theater here of all places. They took it upon themselves to refurbish an old castle. But I just can't fathom why. All that time and effort. Does it matter? At this point, I don't think we should be surprised by anything they do. If you say so. In any case, we are in enemy territory now. We must proceed with caution. Certainly. Don't you fret about that, Professor. Alright, I definitely need to save for you. Quick, so let's do that. Alright, now that that's done, more goodies! See if this guy's got anything that I want to buy. Uh, whoa! I want to buy that. 
That's that was a good discount too. I got thirteen thousand off of that in the end. Nice. Hey, you got anything I'd like? I could allure her and oh my gosh! These are some amazing weapons. Wow. Anyone in here? Anything in there? Nope. Keep going around the town just to um. Oh, what? What? Oh yeah, I forgot that I could actually check my creatures, but I can allure women. That's interesting. Sorcerer's robe. Oh my gosh. Wisdom staff. Ninety-eight, one eighty-eight. One eighty-eight. That might actually be better than what I have. Wow. Oh yeah, that's better. Let's grab that. Oh. Purchase, please. Wisdom staff, yes. I do want that sorcerer's robe too. All right, we're gonna go to the shop and sell something. Some good amounts of stuff we'll sell. Like this bone, we don't need that. It's only one gold. Some empty coin pouches. It's not too bad. A rare stone. It's decent. Quite a few of these copper stone or copper filled pouches. So that's good. Silver filled pouch. Nicely done. And a curious antique that we just found in that tomb back there. Oh yes. Look at all these. What can we buy here anyway? Ooh. Not a bad set of items there. But what I truly want though. Is I want that robe. Gimme, gimme. Oh yeah, now we're definitely prepared. Let me put these on. Because we're going to need these. So we're going to equip the wisdom staff. And decreases our evasiveness, but that's okay. And the sorcerer's robe. Look at all those increases. Nice. And then next, we're going to head over to the sword shop. See what they got here. An oasis hat. That's actually not too bad, but it does decrease my SP. But honestly, I don't need SP as much as I need the defenses. Look at that elemental defense. 700. A soul knife. Crimson dagger. Now this is the type of stuff I've been wanting to see. I might actually just sell something that I don't even use anymore. Like this bandit spear, the regular spear first. Bandit spear, I don't even really use that, but yeah, may as well. I have like five other spears. A broad sword. I'm still using a silver sword on someone. I don't know who. Stinging dagger, I could sell that. Oh, it wasn't allowing me to go down before. That was weird. Curious. Hand axe. Uh, let's see. Longbow. Wolf bow. Oh, there was another longbow. Wolf's bow. I'm gonna see what else we can actually use here. And definitely sell these staves. Don't need staves. Quartz rod. Definitely no. Buckler. We don't need those. I'm still wielding one. Sad. Such a weak item. I think we'll also get rid of all these other weak items too. Despite them being only a few bits of gold, they're still worth it. Bronze vest. Wind attire. Still wielding one. Looks like that's going to be about it for the moment. I think... I think I'm pretty much ready to buy some other stuff if I can. Fortunately not. I'm actually pretty close to that oasis cap, so I may as well sell something else. Let's see here. What can I sell that's quick and easy to sell? Do I have two of anything? Prevents blindness. I really don't honestly need two of these. Okay. Oh, and also go ahead and buy the oasis hat. Yes, yes. Let's buy it. Let's equip that immediately onto, uh, Cyrus. I'm gonna equip the other characters with some stuff, too. Ah, yes, I think we're definitely ready. We'll see what else we could eventually buy. 
Stuffed toy? Ooh, candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Let's see if you've got anything interesting. An angel saber? That sounds amazing. And a grand helm as well. I didn't want to leave the city, so we're going to have to go back in. Whoops. Let me go back in. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go back into the city. I don't want to fight anything yet. All right. Continuing forward. We're going to also sleep at the end real quick if I can. Oh, yeah, I can. Easily. Good. This is actually a small city. I thought that this place would be a little bit bigger than this. Most places have a second area to them. This one doesn't. Well, it technically doesn't. There's always someone. Nope, nobody wants to buy anything. All right, let's continue forward. Ooh, we've got some more people down here, too. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm going to definitely have to buy from this guy eventually. I need that. All of it. And purchase from you. Do you got anything? You got some fire soul stones. Not too bad. All right, let's continue forward. The Everhold Amphitheater. Ah, but our special guest has arrived. Welcome, welcome. Truly fortune smiles upon me this night. The curtain is about to rise. I trust you will enjoy the show before you go on your way. Of course. I own this theater. I come from time to time to enjoy the crowds and the ambience. Needless to say, I also pen the production we're putting on tonight. It's the tale of a young noblewoman's life. Not a particularly original topic to be sure, but nevertheless, I did write it for you, Primrose. How touching. But I'm afraid I came for a different kind of show. <laughs> have you now? To have made it this far alive, it would seem you too have fortune on your side. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I do. But I think you will be feeling less fortunate when the night is over. Prepare to die, Simeon. <laughs> Such strong words. But I ask you, my dear Primrose, are you prepared for what awaits you? You have my deepest respect, Primrose. Truly, you do. It is not an easy road you have chosen, is it? You're wrong. I have only walked the path I had to walk. Oh? Now, is that so? <laughs> Come now! But enough prologue, let the show begin. <laughs> oh, hark unto the tale of a girl, pure and true, who in her all too fleeting life Knew such misery as no other ever knew. Oh. Our daughter, our precious daughter. Thank the heavens. She is healthy and whole. She has your look about her, my lord, and a cry as strong as your cry in battle. <laughs> This is good. She will need to be strong indeed. For the future of our house will one day rest upon her so shoulders. <laughs> you ask much of a newborn babe. It is no wonder she cries so. Quite right. We will raise her to be a fine lady. Strong, kind, and just. One who will treat all she meets with respect and compassion. Yes. We will. Hmm. When she is a woman grown, we will fashion for her the finest suit of armor. Oh. 
and the finest gown as well. She must stand out in the ballroom as well as on the battlefield, after all. Oh my. Look, she smiled. <laughs> Even in her smile, she takes after you, my lord. Yes, she will be a strong woman one day. What? What am I doing? I cannot let myself be distracted by this... This mockery. Okay. Well, it looks like we've got a lot to go through next episode, guys. Just to let everyone know, next episode's going to be longer than this episode. For it will be the finale to Primrose's story at long last. So until then, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Click that like button down below, subscribe to see more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, have fun.